Hi folks, Jack Dibger is back. I have a brand new truck. I wasn't there for a while because my other truck spun a bit sad. I like that truck, that Colorado truck. Uh, worked it uh, good for a while, but now kaput. I scrapped it, so uh, I scrapped it today, but I bought a brand new one, so I'm back on track. I'm gonna make a nicer video. That one is like made it really fast. But I'm pretty sure that there's few things around there that you're gonna enjoy knowing. Uh, I, I realized that maybe the dryer part, I wanted to show you that in dryers there's a lot of change most of the time. I opened it, that one, that one wasn't anymore but still there. I took off the motor, I take off all the wires, so I don't mostly don't unscrew things. I bang it with a mass, so uh, enjoy this post. Uh, it's been made fast, but at least I'm back on track, so I wanted to make you uh, uh, my happiness, share it with you guys. Uh, I'm back on scrap life, so scrap till you die, tabarnak. Here's my little kitty. Say bye, YouTubes. Love you, folks. Uh, bye. By the way, I know that I made a mistake. It's not a bandana, it's a band-aid. Uh, just wanted to say, scrap safely, always wear gloves. I always wear them, but I have a little accident and a lot of blood. So, uh, uh, how do I... Advertising, a shock image of bloods maybe coming back. Uh, everything is under control. Enjoy that post. Uh, so, that's it, a band-aid. I said a bandana, I know my, my English is getting better and better but it was worse this morning so uh, bye all right back on track man I have a new truck first minute working damn cut myself really badly have like boo blood so pissed up nothing but a uh, little bandana couldn't fix but damn I, I was surprised about the amount of blood uh, I had to fix that up I worked it like five minutes and bang even with gloves. I wear gloves but not doubles like I used to. So uh, right now I'm starting back. I'm going to show you my brand new truck with a big big rack on it. So you'll see how I load my truck. I won't, I won't load it easily. So maybe wear heavier gloves. Huh? That one's a gift. I'm going to try those. Uh, have many many many. But uh, only was wearing like small, small gloves. I cut myself like really badly. Had to clean these drips all over my place, but everything's fixed. A little bit of bandana over here, and it's okay. Go back to scrap. So first of all, a one-piece scrap. My truck, my Chevy truck that I showed it to you earlier. Uh, it's damage so I called the scrap guy he's gonna come back 300 something more there and after all my brand new truck Mazda 3000 with look at that nice rack on it so I won't be kidding see this a little freezer with the oven on top of it take off the wire on it so a few wires like I told the dumpsters there, Jerry, even those kind, I'm going to take them off. You see, I won't take them off, I'll leave it in the wire pile. So, look at that oven, it's all been clean, the compressor is out of the uh, congelator. So, have still this crap that I, w I had with my other truck that I took off. Uh, had to raise it up, so you'll see what's gonna look like. Everything is gonna go inside that. So see you later, folks. Here we go. Everything is prospected. This is what I left. A few aluminum coil over there. Aluminum pad. A few little motors. This one is aluminum, so this uh, doesn't pay that much. Uh, I took it off because I have like a hiding spot to show you guys. I didn't know if you did that, but. Uh, on the, 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 the dryers only, uh, many, many times I, uh, I opened that up because I, I learned it that there was lots of change in those. Uh, that one, unfortunately, wasn't even had any, but since I tried those, so few sealed unit, few radiators that I have to take the steel off over there. Usually I use uh, sawzalls, 
pass through this really easy uh, but uh, this one is for later I don't have that much of non ferrous so I'm gonna keep it I have a few stuff in my place so uh, I'm gonna take time just gonna bring my ferrous stuff let's see what's gonna have over here let's show you how I tied it up uh, so everything is raised to the top man with that beautiful rack of it so I'm in love with that broom rack so let's go to the scrap yard see how much that weight I have a, a freezer over there an oven a washer and a dryer I have a few bikes two chairs and garbage on the top of it I'm gonna pass through it there we go Right, I'm at the scrap yard right now. I just waited my truck. Now I need to find a place to go. There's lots of people around here today, so empty it fast and quick. People around here know how to raise up their truck. You see those kind of load scrap legends. Moving metal over here. Lots, lots of scrapper in Laval. So, I'm not gonna film me dumping it up. It's gonna be fast and quick. I'm not gonna waste time over here. But, uh, here we go for the first scrap with my brand new truck. Ten minutes and it's done. All scrap in that pile, man. Lots, 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 lots of people and lots of steel. Mixed steel. I don't know if you're able to see it, but bunch I didn't saw any bigger scrap yard like that uh, anywhere else in you in the internet so nice view take a peek and go back on the scale see how much I have all motors over there steel aluminium wood do, 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 do. lots of steel and scrap 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 so people go for the non ferrous over there, they make the line and after they go by scale with the shovels or whatever. So that's done, I'm back on the scale, go see how much I have. So $57 for my non ferrous, uh, my ferrous stuff. So it, uh, it went down a bit, it's 19 cents per kilo. So uh, 299 kilogram, 56 and 81. They they round the price up at 57 like they usually do. Uh, that's done. My truck's empty, and I'm gonna have to go wait for the scrap guy to go grab my truck. Another 300 something. So let's do scrap again. Well, that's it for today. Uh, I made it fast and sweet. I didn't work even maybe two hour and a half in total with the loading and the unloaded. Uh, even the road to there, uh, I I'm really wanted to share my happiness of getting back on track. Seriously, scrap life is my life. I've scrapped a lot of metal. Uh, if you um, like that post, uh, feel free to subscribe, add comments, whatever. I'm there for your comments and your... Uh, your, your advertise that it could be so uh, feel free sharing I'm in Laval uh, I'm able to go grab whatever still you have I'm not uh, difficult at all so uh, let's go scrap diggers alive man scrap till you die tabarnak <laughs>